we are driving to the range. We are a new guest with us today, Jen, and I'm going to be teaching her how to shoot. You think it's possible to train somebody in what, three hours? Yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> as long as she doesn't kill any of us, I'm happy with that. I'll try not to. To get into shooting as a Canadian is not exactly easy as it is. There's a lot of tests that you have to take, there's background checks and everything like that. And then you get some clubs and ranges that people might want to shoot at and they make it very difficult for them to become members. They make it very time consuming and very expensive. Uh, the Ontario laws uh, are very strict as it is and then you get these clubs that add on even more rules to these laws and it's just absurd but in Canada, uh, for a pistol, you're not allowed to have more than 10 rounds in the magazine. There's clubs here in Ontario that restrict that down to five, and then you're not allowed to rapid fire, you're allowed to shoot one shot every like two seconds or something like that. And it's, I could only imagine how frustrating that would be for the members at that club. I mean, I wouldn't even join there, it just wouldn't even be worth the time or the money to go there. So, well, for competition, you need to be able to exactly rapid fire. For IPSC, three-gun matches, stuff like that, they're all based off of speed and time, so you wouldn't be able to train properly uh, at a club such as that. So, in an essence, it's almost as if we're our own worst enemy sometimes. Um, putting all these own restrict restrictions on ourselves in such a restrictive country as it is. Do you know of any programs that may exist that promote the shooting sports in Canada? Well, I mean, there's different organizations, some that uh, offer competitions to people. There's IPSC and 3Gun uh, um, websites and, and uh, organizations. There's also the National Firearms Agency, stuff like that, that helps promote uh, firearms, helps with uh, trying to get a little bit more common sense to our firearms laws in Canada. So, if I don't have like a gun license, mm -hmm. how does that work? Am uh, I still allowed to shoot? Yeah, because I have my license. So you'd be under my supervision and you'd just be operating under my license. So what was that thing that you were telling me about the Canadian gun license thing? Uh, they have some fairly strict laws as far as firearms go. And the sentence for even breaking the law administratively, maybe not even on purpose, is quite harsh. It's uh, two to three years jail time, even if your license expires. So, say you own firearms, you never use them, you store them in your closet, you turn 80 and you have an expired license, well, you could go to jail for that. Even if you've never got used your guns before, you haven't shot them in 50 years and they're sitting in a closet they're locked up somewhere then you are actually breaking the law wow have you ever even held a gun never have you ever seen one in person i think i've seen one but i don't uh we i've never held one let's get going scary <laughs> let's get going yeah i'm excited So I just brought Jen here, we're at the range. We're uh, just gonna get sorted out. Gonna zero in my rifles and then uh, start teaching Jen how to shoot. Excited. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get, what was that question? I said, are there different types of bullets for different guns? Yeah, so depending on what kind of gun you're shooting, there's different kinds of bullets. So for rifles, they shoot like rifle bullets, pistols shoot pistol bullets. Okay. And then different rifles shoot different bullets as well so there's different uh, calibers so the bigger the caliber the bigger the bullet so these are the two pistols that we're going to use today one of them is a Glock the other one is the Sig Sauer so this is the Glock that's the Sig Sauer so first thing you want to do when you pick up a, uh, a gun doesn't matter what it is is you want to make sure it's safe so anytime there's a gun you're always going to assume that it's loaded even if you just cleared it so the first thing you're going to do He's going to point it in a safe direction, pull back on the slide, and you're going to look inside the chamber. So if you look in there, you can see that there's no brass right in that opening. There's nothing there. Yeah. So 
that way you just make sure that it's safe. <laughs> Same with this one, so there's nothing in okay. there. Okay. Right? <laughs> so that's pretty much it. So uh, here you go, I'll give you this one. We just cleared it, we made sure it's safe. There's no magazine in it. So I'll give you that and you can just play around with it. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> All right. It's heavy. I'm just gonna put it down right there. <laughs> so, like, why? Are you scared of it still, even though he's cleared it and he told you it was safe? Yeah, I guess so. Why? But I think I just need to adjust to get, um, get somewhat used to it. Does it still feel dangerous? It is dangerous, but I understand. I trust him, so. So that gun, as it is right now, is dangerous. It, yes, but it's safe. It's, it's on, you know, the safety mode, is that what you called it? Yeah, we've cleared it. Cleared it. Is there anything she can do yeah. to make that gun go off at all at this point? Not by looking at it. <laughs> uh, no, like she would actually have to like take a magazine, insert it in, rack it, and pull the trigger. I mean, there's no other way to do it. Pick it up, John. It's fine. Yeah? <laughs> Um, do you remember how to clear it to make sure? Do you remember what we did? Just to pull it back. Yeah, pull it back. Really hard. Really hard. Careful. You're going to have to use your muscles. Oh my god, I'm weak. This so is hard. There's a, a kind of a trick to doing it. So do it like a slingshot. Instead of trying to push forward, like hold it like a slingshot and then like pull straight back. How does she lock it in place there so she can keep the... Yeah. To lock it in place, well, I'll do it right-handed so it'll be easier. There's this... Are you uh, left-handed? Yeah. Okay. There's this uh, little slide stop, the slide catch right there. So when you pull back, you pull push up on that, mm -hmm. and that'll lock it in place. There's a little notch there, and when you push it up into that notch, then it locks back. And then to release it, you just pull back on it, and then that's it. So even though I'm right-handed, can I do it the other way? So yeah, you could, but I mean, it'll be easier for you right-handed. Just, they're designed for right-handed people, so. So how do I unlock this now? Just pull straight back on the slide. This one? Yeah, this big part here, pull right back. Really hard, there, and that's it. Oh, did you get pinched? No. Okay. I would have been like, oh! Okay, so now you've been handed a gun, make sure that it's safe. Okay, I need to do it with this hand, though, because this is like my stronger hand. Okay. But then I don't know. I then I don't know how to push that up. Yeah, it's awkward. It is awkward. Okay. And then or I have to... there's another way. Like you could uh, hold it like over top like this. Yeah. Put your thumb there, and then push forward with your right hand because you said your right hand's stronger. So just grip the the slide with your left hand, okay. and then just push forward with your right, and making sure that you're pushing up with your thumb like that. So. Your hands are bigger than mine. Yeah, a little Should bit. Okay. Because of my thumb here. So do that thing you did where you grab the front and then grab you just... over top like this. Like this? Yeah, like that. And then up I'm... the thumb. There you go. Yay! <laughs> and that's it. That's kind of exciting actually. There's uh, three rules for firearms. One, don't point it at anything that you don't want to kill. Two. Make sure it's always pointed in a safe direction, so usually that's down. Okay. So, I mean, if it's up, then you can point it at other people. And uh, what's rule three, Paulo? Uh, always, uh, I think that's it, right? No, there's three. Don't point at anything you don't want to kill. Uh, oh, finger off the trigger. And finger off the trigger. So, see how I keep my finger way up high on here? It's called the register position. So even if this is forward, I keep it up there, and I don't put my finger on the trigger until I'm ready to shoot. Okay. So this is called the register position. It's nice and high. People do it like that, but I mean, personally, I think that's even still too close yeah, to the trigger. Is. So just really up high on the, the frame, and uh, that's it. I mean, there's no way that this could go off. This uh, this one here has a decocker, so this one has a hammer on the back. Okay. The other one didn't. I just push it down, and it actually decocks it. So that's right now gives it a lighter trigger okay and then to decock it so that's basically the safety on this one so can you rehash those three rules for us if you remember don't point at anybody you want to kill 
You can't keep your hand on the trigger and keep it down. Pointed in a safe direction. Close enough. That'll work for today. Close enough. So I guess the reason why I'm still afraid of this, even mm -hmm. though um, you're telling me that there's no bullets, is because I guess in the movies there's always that last bullet in there, so that's why, right? Yeah. So you've, you've checked it, you've seen that there's absolutely no, no bullets in there. And then all, what we'll do is we'll field strip this and you can actually see how it works a little bit better and you can see how these things operate and how there's no way that once you've cleared it there could be more bullets in there or anything else like that. So to field strip this thing, I'll take that from you. So just this is just to make sure there's no secret hidden magic bullet in there that could <laughs> accidentally go off, right? Correct. Okay. Go ahead, Jen. Alright, so just to show that there's absolutely no way that there's a secret magic bullet hidden in here. We're going to field strip this. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pull the trigger. We just cleared it. We know it's empty, so point it in the safe direction as always because you don't want to point it at something that you don't want to kill, right? Right. So you just pull the trigger on this gun here. You just pull back on the slide a little bit just so that the trigger engages. There's these little serrations here. Pull down on them. They're going to release the slide, and then the slide comes right off. So you can see in here, that's where the, right here is where the bullets went. And then this was the top piece. Inside here is a firing pin. And then this is the spring that makes it move back and forth okay. for today's purposes. So that spring comes out. And then you have this piece here. Do you know what this is called? No. Okay. This is called the barrel. So the bullets, when they're fa firing, it actually chambers into here. This part is called the chamber. When you pull the trigger, the bullet itself travels out of the barrel, and then you're left with the brass. So I'll actually show you one of the bullets. So when this is inside the gun, like there's no way this will fire, this chambers inside of the barrel like that, okay. then it all locks up into the action, it closes, and then a fire, when you pull the trigger, a firing pin hits this little circle in the center here, that's called the primer. The primer ignites the gunpowder that's inside of this piece of aluminum right here which basically turns this into a pipe bomb and because it's a pipe bomb it's open at this end there's only one direction for all this stuff to go which is forward and that's what propels the bullet so the whole thing doesn't go forward right you knew that yeah, yeah. Just, just the the piece of copper and uh, that's it so inside here if you look see those little uh, swirls that's called the rifling that's why rifles are called rifles because they have riflings uh, this is a pistol, so it's just kind of like a smaller oh. version of that. So shotguns, smoothbore, muskets, smoothbore. Rifles are called rifles because they have rifling and pistols too. Okay. Just a little tidbit of information for you. So secret magic bullet demystified oh, for you. There. But no it's not secret in there. magic bullet, <laughs> nothing there. So gun noob, you're just uh, coaching her along with assembling the Glock. <laughs> Let's go see how she did. Uh, I'm a, a pretty crappy teacher, but uh... <laughs> All right, let's take a look here uh, Not quite So let's take a look That all looks all right Put the barrel on spring on seated properly And all you gotta do There yeah, she was done. Huh? Yeah, it was right. Oh, really? Yeah, she did it. She just didn't have it in all the way. I mean, she had pulled the slide back all the way. It would have been fine. Do you want to try it again? Nice. See yeah. if uh, you can get it right down 100%? Yep. Yeah. All right, gun Thank noob. You. I'll leave it with you. <laughs> all right, buddy. So you just, or we just field stripped this gun, and now I have to put it back together. So, this goes here. So, I apparently need two hands to do this little spring. 
for one. Okay. Good. This one. Right? Is it? No, it's not. Yes. The barrel should be at the front of the gun, right? Good. Pull the trigger. Hey, you pointed it in a safe direction. <laughs> right? Uh, no, you're <laughs> yeah, good. Awesome. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> good job. Okay. I got this. It's so fun. <laughs> Alright, take the rest, take the rest uh, apart. Holy you just field strip the Glock. Right. Put it back together, rack it, test it, do all that great stuff. Not quick at this part yet. So is there any fear now as far as the safety of this thing? Tell me about No, I I think because we field stripped it and Ryan has taught me that I feel safe around it. I know kind of what's in in the gun now and kind of how to put it back together. Alright. Good? Let's uh you ready to shoot it? Yes. Squeeze the trigger just like you did with the pistol. Shaking. This is scary. <laughs> <laughs>